Uh, welcome to day three of week four then for the SO6 Online League and it's International Globetrotting Day as usual on the third day of the week and we've got races all over the globe today. We're, we're racing at six different tracks. We're at Lingfield to start with, then we're at the Curra, then we're at Wolverhampton, then we are going to Baltimore and then after that we've got Rose Hill and Caulfield. So we've got plenty of action. We've got five group ones including three classics. We've got plenty of low-grade handicaps as well to let some of the trainers that are having their first season or are struggling start of the season maybe get that first win to get them going nicely in time for the big Royal Ascot meeting that's coming up in a couple of weeks and the transfer window next week as well of course so let's have a look then at individual courses as if we've got at Linkfield we've got the Chartwell Stakes that's their big race there today and that's a group three Phillies event plenty of good looking horses in that including the unbeaten Beaujou bonus Melior from the Vinnie Gerard yard also at Linkfield they'll be racing on the turf and the all weather today at the Curra we've got the two classics the Irish Guineas and last last week's 1000 Guineas winner Dart Before Dawn from the John Morgan's table will be trying to do the double and there'll be plenty in that race that ran last Last week trying to turn the tables on that one similarly in the 2000 guineas which comes up straight after last week's hero octo nimbus will try and do the double as well and once again plenty of horses that ran last week will be trying to turn the tables on the heavy going which may make a bit of a difference after that we'll be nipping to wolverhampton for the middle distance championship gets underway the first leg of that Little Distance Championship, which is run every season, and there's a big final at the end of the season for the lower-rated trainers usually, but looking at the car today, you can see that the likes of Jim Murray and Stephen Rann and Joshua Sutherland have all got runners in there, so it just shows you that one or two of the top stables have had a few horses misfiring so far this season. You don't get many Jim Murrays and Steve Rands and Joshua Sutherland's ring on the dirt at Wolverhampton, so that'll be an interesting race as well. Then we'll be going over to Baltimore for the Preakness Stakes, and that should be an interesting race as well, with plenty of horses with good form in that, and two unbeaten in the field, Lady Jane Felsham for Paul Rhodes and Chroma Delight for Steve Rand, both of whom like to win that race if they can, and there's also plenty of other people got a horse in there with a bit of a chance as well. Then after that, then we'll be going across to Rose Hill for their big race there, which is the BMW. That's a one and a half mile Group 1 handicap, so that makes things a little bit different doesn't it when it's a handicap and the top weight in that race prosecutor has got to give quite a bit of weight away to some good looking horses in that so that's going to be pretty interesting then after the bmw of course we've got the golden slipper which is a really big two-year-old race isn't it a big two-year-old group one and there's lots of good looking horses in there maybe not as big a field as you'd expect with all the money that's on offer and nothing that's unbeaten but the, the top names are in there and timekeeper and humongous and welcome to the jungle will obviously be pretty much fancied and molly at surface powerful beauty is another one that should do well so that will round up the big races we'll then finish up with a couple of low grade handicaps at coalfield and that'll be it for week four the bulk of the commentaries today will be taken by mike tartaglia but before that a rare outing on the flat for Stu. he'll be joining me at lingfield for the first four races from there so we'll get over to there now and start off with Stu for the chartwell phillies stakes